Hello boys and girls, men and women of all ages, shapes and sizes, my name is Owen Adams and it's time for another little Minecraft tutorial, sort of. Um, I'm down in my mob spawner so you might hear a few zombies, I'll just, uh, I'll remove these guys which I should have done earlier before I get into this. Uh, this is going to be another quick one just because I noticed recently that there's been a little bit of confusion about blast furnaces and how they work. As you can see I have two blast furnaces here, so I thought I'd make just a quick video explaining how these work. I know uh, for a lot of people these are pretty new, a lot of people have been having trouble building these, uh, hence, uh, you know, a lot of people were looking at how to make smooth stone and stuff, but once you've got one built, it's important to understand there's a big misconception about blast furnaces, that they are basically just faster furnaces, and they're not. So the first thing that you really have to know about blast furnaces is they only smelt metal objects, basically. So if you try and put, say, cobblestone in, nope, you won't get anything out of it. Uh, unlike, say, your normal furnace. You can actually smelt cobblestone in there. Um, blast furnaces will only do ore, which as you can see they do much faster, so if you have a lot of ore to go it's faster. And they'll do old pieces of armor, for example, that you want to smelt down into nuggets for making into new ingots. Uh, so that's basically it. They work just like normal furnaces, but there seems to be a lot of misconceptions with people who don't understand that um, you can only put metal in a blast furnace, basically. Well, ores are metal. You can only smelt something if the end result's gonna be an iron or a gold nugget, or an iron or a gold ingot. And that's about it, really. Other than that, they're pretty simple, but hopefully this helped you if you've been sitting here trying to get charcoal out of your blast furnace and you don't know why it's not working. That's probably why. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!